right, DW. We'll do it then. All right, I'm, I'm waiting on the boys. Again, they're coming. Here they come. Get ready. Get ready. Buggity, buggity, buggity. Let's go racing, boys. <laughs> there it is. Chase Briscoe, the dirt track ace, trying to muscle his way to the front. He leads lap one. Well, he did. He went right through the middle and took the lead. That, that was pretty impressive. Got that thing straight off the two. You know, had a really good bite, traction, hooked those rear tires up, and away he went. Okay, I owe you a dollar, Clint. <laughs> you know, one thing I see already is those guys, you heard his comments, need to be free when the track's tacky. And you can see at the front of those cars, this thing is tacky right now. You see him sliding sideways, need a free race car. As it dries out, quite the opposite. Christopher Bell looks pretty racy, too. He's got, a, got his nose in the back of that 14. We're back at 11th place here with Austin Dillon, chasing Chase Elliott behind Kyle Busch. There's been some three wide running early on uh, with Ricky Stenhouse. Imagine Ricky way up high. Never has there ever been a scenario where you want to be up front, qualify up front, have good a heat race, good qualifying effort. You see Chase Briscoe, how hard he pushed off a two on the first lap to get the lead. Look at that vision. That's exactly why you want to be up front. Bubba Wallace underneath Ricky Stenhouse. And Clint, it looked like Ricky got bogged down up there in that high, high stuff. Ricky's always on that cushion, always on the hammer. It doesn't surprise me a bit. He's already at the outside. Look at this. Speaking of outside, Christopher Bell making a move on Chase Briscoe for the lead. I do notice though, those windshields. The tra track is pretty tacky. Uh, it was a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of mud flying around, so that's going to mess with the windshields early on. Needs to be, though. This is a time it, you have to start tackies if you want a good racetrack when the uh, timing's right. Third place, Tyler Reddick. Underneath our pole sitter, Cole Custer. Some of our favorites right there in the screen. Ty Dillon in the 42 car. He had a great heat race, won his heat race, but Reddick and Kyle Larson, I expect those cars to be up front competing for this win at the end of the race. I expect Kyle Larson to get up there pretty quick. He likes this kind of racetrack, man. He loves the dirt. Don't you sleep on that eight car. Looking for his first win, and I think it could come tonight. He does look good. I'd say that. Chase Briscoe trying to hold off Christopher Bell, who now looks to the high side. Kevin Harvick said yesterday, whatever Chase Briscoe says, that's what we're doing. He is the dirt racing ace at Stuart Haas. Fantastic race for the lead. Christopher Bell hounding on me. A little bit better in three and four. Looking to uh, Chase Briscoe's outside. We'll see. I don't think he's quite close enough this lap. But again, Daryl, looking at this racetrack, it already is starting to get a, you know, a slick look on the bottom of the racetrack. Here is uh, Cole Custer now in fifth place talking temperatures. I'm sure you're not the only one here. Try to hit somebody's bumper. <laughs> hey, try to <laughs> knock that dirt off. Yeah. There it is. You can see on the front of the car. Everybody has a little bit different scenario oh, that than what he's doing. Covered. His, he looks like he has an hour to wear on the front of it versus oh, some other things. You can see the nine car. See how it's all cleared off? The 45 the same way. The three car is a little bit more packed up than those two. That's why I was talking about the track being so tacky, Mike. A lot of loose dirt flying around. Sticking to the nose of these cars, it could be some overheating problems. But some of them are going to do better than others because of the scenario in which they try to do. 41, Colt Custer already coming in. So the pole sitter, Custer, who did such a great job in the heat passing cars, uh, he's in to knock that off. Regan. Mike, that's exactly what crew chief Mike Shiblett said. Clean the grill and send him right back out as quick as possible. Well, you see the difference between the eight and the five. Uh, the grills on those cars, very different approach. Absolutely. Again, everybody in the garage area had a little bit different idea on how to overcome that obstacle. That 20 car that just went by at Christopher Bell, you see his nose is clean. That nine car, I keep saying it, that thing was full of mud on the front of it, but the nose, that, that radiator area was definitely clean. Kevin Harvick said his goal was to not get lapped in stage one. He's going to lap down. Yeah, Harvick's really slow. I mean, Looks like Cole, not, yeah. I'm sorry, Cole Custer's teammate, Eric Amarillo, he is pitting as well. And caution is out at lap 13.
could be. A, is that a competition, down. competition call? Down. Caution? They don't have one. No, but in our NASCAR meeting, officials said if these grills plugged up, we would throw a caution flag, bring everybody down pit road so nobody gains competitive advantage, and have them scrape that off. Fourteen laps in the books. Chase Briscoe, out of Indiana, with a great dirt track background, has led them all.